Hey, my name's Jovan and today you'll be learning how to use your console controller for navigation inside Unreal Engine. This has helped increase my workflow in three main ways. The first is general navigation. When moving around your Unreal scene, I found it sometimes a little bit annoying having to use my mouse and my keyboard to actually move around the scene. I know it's just minutiae and not really something to complain about, but I found that using a controller really helped to increase my efficiency when actually navigating my scenes. All you gotta do to connect your Unreal controller to your scene is have it connected into your computer. So this can be by a wire, which is how I normally do it, or you can have it wirelessly as well, which you can just do through the Bluetooth settings of your computer. Then when you're in your Unreal scene, just click on any empty space in the Unreal viewport and you'll be able to use your controller like usual. You can go up and down by using the back triggers. You can move around and look around using the little joysticks and you can like change the focal length of your camera using the little clicky buttons at the top. I don't use that one as much because it doesn't actually work when you're using the camera and the sequencer. The second way that I like to use this controller is when doing virtual production. Now I have a video in one of these corners on how to connect a VR headset into your Unreal scene to go into VR mode and actually navigate your scene through that. The best use case that I've found for using a controller in virtual production is actually when showing other people your project. So if you're working on a larger virtual production set, you can give another person your VR headset, they can have the actual Oculus controllers, but then you can navigate them through the scene by looking either in a second VR headset or by looking at the actual display on your computer and you can move around what they look at by just watching what's on the screen and using your own controller here. I found this really, really helpful because it allows you to actually take someone through an environment. It is great for them to be able to actually walk around with the controller itself, but it's not always the most intuitive for first time VR headset users. So you can also just chuck on one of these controllers and they'll be able to move through with ease as well. The third final and best way that I've found to use these console controllers for your Unreal workflow is when making cinematics. Now, doing keyframe animation can be very, very difficult, especially when you're trying to make those really nice, silky smooth camera shots. And I'm sure a lot of you have played around with cinematic modes in video games and have found it to be a really, really fun, immersive way to get some great shots inside a game. This kind of merges those two together. Essentially, you can use your controller to create really beautiful cinematics. So I've got an example here of me orbiting through a shot, but you can also have some really simple ones where your camera tracks down and you pan around. You can get some really beautiful cinematic shots that are definitely achievable using a keyboard and mouse. Like by no means is that obsolete, but it's just a lot easier using an actual console controller yourself. And so to actually get these takes recorded, you just have to open up the take recorder by going into Windows, Cinematics, and then opening the take recorder. And then you can just add your camera in, press record, move around your controller to adjust your camera however you see fit. And then once you finish recording, press stop recording, then you can export out your cinematic take recorder by using the sequencer. I found this really, really useful. I actually discovered it by accident on how to use these controllers. I had it plugged into my computer and found that everything was moving around weirdly and I realized I was accidentally bumping the actual controller that I had plugged in. And since then, I've been un unable to let it go. This is an amazing addition into my Unreal workflow. I hope that it helps some of you guys as well make some really beautiful shots and just speed up your workflow in general. Thanks for watching this quick video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you saw and want to see more, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have any suggestions or questions for future ideas as well, do leave them in the comments below. I usually make four videos a month on something Blender or Unreal Engine related, but for the month of October, I'm going to take a slight break and post some more cinematic shorts that I'm going to be working on. Um, uni started to ramp up quite a bit and I'm trying to create a portfolio to get a job in either layout or previs. If you want to see that as well, consider liking and subscribing and I'll get back to the regular tutorial content after October. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.